So I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how I did the lens mod because I don't know if everyone is able to uh, do it themselves. Uh, so I'll just go over some details about how I did it. Uh, this is some footage I took with my wing with the lens mod and the nice Rattel M12 lens. Uh, here's another one with my drone. I think it looks fantastic. And uh, you can have footage just like this too. Uh, just a little bit of work to do to get that to work. Download this file from RC Groups. And then we're going to open up the file into Cura. Uh, it's going to open up like this. Uh, with the uh, bottom down like that. Uh, this is the orientation you're going to want to print in. I've got a rather large uh, 0.6 millimeter nozzle on my printer. Um, typical is 0.4 millimeter. Uh, but even with a 0.6 nozzle, I am having no problem printing this uh, to enough resolution that it works properly. So the first thing we want to do, though, is set this uh, scale to about 103 or 104%. Uh, every time I printed this, uh, it's always been too tight, even on an SLA printer uh, with a very high precision. So um, drop up, up, increase this to 104%, and you're going to have a lot better time getting this all to fit. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at some of the other settings. Um, drop the layer height to 0.2. Um, again, the it, precision matters, but it doesn't matter as much as you might think for an object like this. Uh, we're going to use compression to kind of hold everything in place rather than rely on the exact threading. Um, it, it's it's really not as finicky as you might think, but um, I mean you do have to try a few times if it doesn't work um, by increasing or decreasing the scaling. So let's take a look at what the preview looks like. I'll just go through here. So I've got three walls. Um, yeah, let's see. That'll take 16 minutes to print and use a whole two grams of TPU. So I'm going to print that, um, bring it over to the printer, print, and uh, pull it off the printer when it's done. Take our Krylon Fusion Paint, matte black, uh, is linked in the description. It's important that it's matte black. Shake it up and uh, spray away. Uh, I do a couple coats here, uh, trying to get each side. Uh, a little bit of distance. This is typical spray painting stuff. Uh, you don't want to go on too heavy. Um, it's better to do lighter coats. If you have the time, uh, do more than one application. I, uh, I do like getting both the top and the bottom done, but you also do those on separate applications. Um, yeah, here, just really kind of making sure I get the inside of that painted. And let that dry. Um, then we're going to take the screws off the back of the Runcam HD camera. I uh, need a very small uh, Phillips screwdriver tip for this. Uh, I fix it, gets pretty helpful, but it's just two screws and they pop right off. There's no glue or anything. Here's the sensor after you've taken it out. I would actually clean that sensor off because it's a little smudge from the factory, from what I've found. Uh, go ahead and seat the PCB into the um, part here, and I used a little bit of tweezers to um, open up the holes a bit, and uh, then put the screws in. This is what it looks like once you put the sensor in. And uh, here's from the back side with the two screws put in. And that's about it. Uh, thread the uh, lens on. The lens is a little bit uh, finicky to get started. What you want to do is uh, make sure it's going in straight. Um, start turning. Keep on making sure it's going in straight. You're going to screw it in almost all the way to the end. Uh, but you can see from the picture here that I have about how far you'll go in. 
Now that you have everything uh, mounted up, we need to focus the lens. I recommend uh, going to the field and pointing the camera at some trees in the distance and then uh, turning the lens back and forth until you see the uh, trees in the distance resolve to a nice sharp edge. Um, it's, there, there, there are more scientific ways to do this, uh, but the basic idea is that we're trying to focus out on infinity. Um, I think that with this larger lens, for whatever reason, uh, and it's an extra wide angle lens, uh, for whatever reason, it, it is a very tight spot for where the point of uh, focus is at the distance. Uh, but if you keep at it, you'll get it. Um, I recommend maybe putting in some hot glue or some other adhesive to lock the focus in place once you do find that focus point. So now that you hopefully know what you need to do to get this done, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, has this mod been successful for you? Do you have any sample video of how it looks for you? I haven't seen very many people uh, that have done this, but it seems like a lot of people have bought the lens. So uh, if you're having any trouble, let me know. And, and I would really love to see uh, some of your improved footage after doing these modifications. All right, thanks.